frame got dropped. <laughs> okay. I am roast pork belly. And today I'm playing something else. I'm not playing Borderlands 2. My god. Uh, uh. Now I don't know if I'm going to keep my face cam or head and shoulders cam. I'm wearing lighter clothing today so hopefully uh, uh, once it starts to get hot as you sit in one spot like this it does start to get bloody hot especially on a day like this just uh, I'm just scratching my arm all right have my controller now I haven't played this game in a long long time but I just looked on Steam and it says 338 hours so it was obviously a game that I was into uh, but right now uh, who knows uh, even the um, save file was corrupt like I don't know what happened but well it wasn't even there so there's that hmm so I don't know what to make of this I just thought I'd change things up from uh, Borderlands. All right, uh, I need to turn down the main volume. I think. Oh, for me anyway, not for you guys. You can have full volume, or decent-ish, high-ish, so you can hear what's happening. Uh, I think I've set everything up. Yep, Xbox controller. Let's see if I can uh, remember. Uh, invert, no, no. Grab, fire. I, gosh, I cannot remember any of this. I don't think I'm using no I'm not using a pawn as far as I remember uh, okay um, yeah I'm kind of leaving it pretty much to what it was doing before. Not doing speed run. So let's just load up this game. I had a copy of the save file. Uh, all right, so. Oh. I think this is what I was doing. Ah, I was trying to level up, I think. Ah, so you use the button to do that. Cursed Dragon? Something like that. Oh my god. Oh, it's having a hard time to render. Hmm. It 
it's not doing too well, is it? Let me drop the... Um, can I do it here? Uh, gosh. I can't remember this at all. Uh, ah, you can't, you have to like... God, it's really dropping loads of frames. Uh, there it is, Cursed Dragon. And there was a way to change to your weapon. Oh my God, I've totally, he had to do it pretty quickly. So I had to change from dagger to, oh my god, uh, there's somebody watching, I've only just started, I'm just messing around with the settings, is there tons of lag, can you tell me if there's tons and tons of lag? played this in so long you could buff up is it magic rebalancer oh my god oh I can see someone's watching hello does it look alright or is there problem? I mean, I'm I'm getting a decent. Uh, okay, so I need to change equipment. Ah, that's it. So how did I get there? From this menu. Equipment, and then, oh, then what do I do? Ah, so I have to select. So I've got scalding razors at the moment, which are gold forged. And then I wanted to change to staff. Was it this staff or what's this one? Unfettered claw. Okay. Okay. Oh no. How come it's not equipped? Blimey. <laughs> I've put more than 300 hours into this game, then haven't played it for ages. And now, I'm like, well, we're, yes, unfettered claw, equip, all right, and then how do I do comestion? That's the bow. Right, but how do I do comestion? Ah, here we go. So, X. And I missed. I guess I should shoot him. There, right, he's aggroed now. I 
And then I'll leg it back here. Oh my god, it's seriously dropping frames by the look of it. Okay, then I do... Let's see if I can remember this. Then you come back... Re-equip the dagger. And then we do magic rebalancer. One. And again. And three. I think it's three. And now it's going to buff up my... Should be there. And this should knock him. Oh, shit. Uh, God, I can't. Uh, right, which one's this? Unfettered claw. Uh, 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 yeah, unfettered claw. What do you mean I can't equip it? Yeah, bugger. Okay, let's try again. Uh, uh, equip. Alright. And that's taken one bar of health. He's got seven or eight. Alright, you see my buff is going to run out soon. Ooky kooky, let's uh, try and knock him down again. Okay. Nice. Oh, quick. It's gonna do that special poison breath. Still on fire. Blimey. My hands are so wet. See, she's still buffed up. Alright. I'm going to lose the buff in a second. Yeah, it's gone. Okay, so let's uh, get my scalding daggers back on. And then what do we do? Magic rebalancer. And again. And one more time. Is that three? Okay, so change back to uh, not this one. Okay, and then use the bow and arrow to knock him down. There we go. And Comestion. I got 78 XP. I don't know what gave me that. Probably a rabbit or something. It's like. Oh, is that too close? That's alright. Right, now, right, well, you've got to be quick ish before your buff runs out. See, it's not. Ah, uh, it's still got him one more time. So, Comestion is loading. And I've gone for Comestion rather than High Comestion because uh, it's much quicker. You just end up doing High Comestion otherwise. I can change up the skills at some point. Uh, okay. 
Uh, I can see lots of lag going on. Ah, it's just lower FPS. As long as it's watchable. Hope it is watchable. Yeah, I've lost the buff now. So I need to now... I need to now buff it up again. So I need the dagger. Right. So magic rebalancer. One. Two. Three. Okay. Then quickly change back to the staff. Is that the right one? Okay, and then knock him down again with the bow and arrow. Well, it's not really bow and arrow, it's a magic bow. So you're not really shooting arrows as such. They're kind of magic. Okay, we're halfway through the health. So he's going to do his um, dragon breath. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, there, look. Poison breath, which can get you. There we go. He's up again. We need to knock him down. Get him on the heart. It's a nice little spot to do it from here. Mestian. So he's weak to fire. I don't know if I can do one more. You see the buff. See my body's all glowing. That's gonna disappear in a second. I don't know if I can. Uh, it's hiding up there now. Which is good because the things can't get me. No, I'm going to have to rebuff. Okay. So, come back in, re-equip Scalding Razors, come back out of this menu. But this is, this is how you pretty much can level up quite quickly. It's kind of a bit of a grind, but you get loads of uh, XP from the Scalded Dragon, the, not Scalded Dragon, what's it called? Cursed Dragon. And of course, if you've got equipment, then, you know, you can get it Dragon Forged and so on. There we go. So this character is a uh, magic archer. There we go. So two. Oh, he's going to do another breath. Let's head back in here. Not that anything much happens, but I think only once on this farm. When I was trying to get up to level 200. There we go, just in time. Okay, one more health to go. So he's got like, what, nine health bars. And we've taken down quite a few. Okay, so... Uh, yeah. Ah, you can't see. Alright, I'm going to lose the buff anyway. Oh yeah, it's uh... Alright, I'm just uh... 
paused it for a second. I'm just going to move myself because you can't see all these controls here. So I'm going to move me a little bit up there. That uh, should be better. I don't think there's anything in particular up there. Uh, right, so I'll go through this again. So if you want to just do an XP farm, this is uh, one way to do it. All right, so I need to put the daggers back on, which have been gold forged. How do you do that? I can't remember. There was a kit. There's a guy who's got the shop where you can buy stuff. He's a previous arisen, but he's a ghost. And he's down here in the this DLC area. The name of which escapes me right now. <laughs> Black Bitter Black Isle, that's it. Alright, so let's put this back on. Unfettered claw. And you can get some decent gear from him as well. Belloc, Baruch. He, at the beginning, he kind of just spawns here, but then he kind of later on, he's not here anymore. Oh, he's got a tiny bit of health left. Oh, go, 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 go. Alright, so he's going to fly up again. And this should be it for the Cursed Dragon. There we go. Ah, so my save file was not quite level 200. And then uh, there's some decent drop. So what I do is I jump down, but I use this... Uh, not, I had another bow. Ah, oh, this one, yeah. The Militant Dove has uh, healing powers. Alright, I'm going to equip the daggers as well. I had some other daggers, but I'm kind of running with these ones. And then, even though you lose a little bit of health, look how quickly that comes back. So you can get... Um, I've forgotten how to pick this up. Ah. Uh, right. So I'm now kind of heavy, aren't I? Uh, very heavy. So there's somewhere you can sell all of this. But I can't remember. Oh, rabbits are 39. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Belloc, is he called? If you're watching, then you <laughs> feel free to chip in. Anything in here? Light cure? Meh. Okay, jump is jump. Some of these thing, these items are really heavy. Like 
Uh, what did I pick up? Some special thing. Alright, so I've got various bits and bobs here. So what I usually do is farm a bit and then I'll kind of I'll go back somewhere uh, uh. gosh <laughs> <coughs> I can't remember what I was doing at all if I was in doing the story a second time Oh, that luminase is kind of heavy, isn't it? So what should I drop? Some I've got something that's kind of very heavy. I think this is a dragon scale. These are heavy-ish. Okay, armor... Uh, it's not a... Oh, a lift stone. That's it. And you can get... You use the lift stone and you can get to the beginning of Bit of Black Isle. And then what I was doing... Uh... What I was doing then was dropping this uh, carrion bait. And then that was... That was attracting the cursed dragon. And you can get like two spawns. Maximum three, but yeah, two spawns. Yeah, look at the dragon scale is kind of heavy. Rugged femur. So yeah, I can I can um, put this stuff somewhere. It's just that if I'm heavy. Then um, it's difficult to run. Yeah, it feels kind of sluggish. So either I just drop the gear, or uh, I don't know. Work my. I don't have a lift stone. So yeah. Or do I? Oh, yeah, I've got the fairy stone. Ah, there we go, there we go. Here's, here's that thing. Rancid bait meat. So that allows you to attract the uh, cursed dragon. Okay. But now I've got tons of crap. I'm just starting to remember the controls again. Mm -hmm. Okay, save successful. So what uh, level am I, does it say? Doesn't say. Oh yeah, there, look. Katniss, level 166, and the maximum level is level um, 200, but yeah, look at the, <laughs> look at the movement speed now, ah, uh, didn't want to do that. 
There we go. Okay, the thing about this healing bow is that even though it heals you, you also take more damage. Oh, there's a cyclops there. So I don't know what to do now. Okay, let's do Shadow Seth. They'll get caught in there. Oh, bloody hell. We can't really get in here. But he's weak to lightning. The Cyclops. So we've got the orc. Is it an orc? Okay, and then I think I could do a ricochet. The ricochet is lightning, so he'll be weak to that. Kind of forgotten how to come on you if you get it just right then it'll keep ricocheting and you can get like tons of damage let's get another one going oh come on come on come on follow me there we go. Is he going to keel over? It's better if you shoot at something else. Ah, uh, no. Let's try. This one's fire, but he's not really weak to fire, but... Let's see if we can um, break off one of the tusks. It doesn't do that much. But then what you do is they, they are like kind of bombs as far as I remember. So you kind of get close to him. And it's a bit like putting C4. Alright, I'm shooting this. Didn't really do it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to change to the staff. Let's try a rusted staff. What that will do is um, debilitation. Let's try Levin. Is weak to lightning. Well, let's try another eleven. So the oh comestion. I didn't really want to do that, but oh well. So he doesn't. Ah, there we go. Now he's um, debilitated. So he can't really move. High eleven. There we go, he's going over. He's going over. You see, the fire doesn't really do that much damage. But the lightning does a lot more. Well, they all missed him. So let's give him another lightning bolt, and that should be it. 
and uh, 15k. But look at my movement speed. Yeah. Not good, eh? Not good. Because we still got enemies. Oh no. We've got Garm. Shit. Garm has like... He's almost as tough as the... Uh, Cursed Dragon. So... Oh, okay. I'll take that. Garm is uh, like this um, dog, hound, hell, he's not a hellhound. There, so you've got, managed to get something. Uh, he's a kind of very, very fast, powerful hellhound. How many spots have we got there? One, two, three, four, so we've got seven. Um, yeah. Okay. Serious amount of uh, dropped frames here. I hope it looks all right. Uh, gosh, I've been on for th half an hour already. There's, there's gone. Okay, let's load another one up. shouldn't be able to get me here <laughs> but yeah he can pretty much just insta kill you no nothing really oh what the hell happened there he did try didn't he did he just like pass me I don't think he can get up here Okay, well, hmm, interesting. Would be nice to actually get him. Ah, wrong one. That's ice, that one. No, no, <laughs> I'm gonna stay here and hide. All right, so uh, let's see what happens. Ricochet, do do do. There he is. Quickly run away. <laughs> Sometimes he'll like, he'll, yeah, there we go. He just, see, it's a nice spot because it'll keep ricocheting. And he's, uh, I don't know where he's gone now. Where did you go, Garm? Oh, oh, there he is. Nope. Oh yeah, and he's got this breath. That can put you to sleep or something. So, 
Come on. No. No. We've got two dots. We've got two dots of breath. Of, uh... It's like, this game is just like lots of bosses and mini bosses. Oh, here we go. You're going to chase me. Got one ready. Nice. He fell over quick. Load up another one. No. He's legged it. So we've got No, it's not getting him. Let's load up another one. Got him! Oh, careful. His last dying breath can kill you as well. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, and he's dropped loads of stuff. And then... Sinister hide. Uh, these, these are good for um, making weapons and that. Ah, so now I'm now I'm over encumbered. So I've got to drop something. So what have I got? That's too heavy. I can't carry the stuff. Or I can go like really slowly, which is a pain. But Sinister Fang. Rugged Femur. Cyclops Fang. Um, All right, let's get rid of Yeah. Now you can't pick it up again. If you discard something, it's just gone. It's just gone. All right, so now I'm very heavy. Now we've got some of those mottled Uh, militant dove. Let's equip this one. It's got higher damage. All I want to do is just get back to the beginning. But then I do have a lift stone, don't I? So I think I might just do that just to get past this lot. If I can find which menu it's on. There, lift stone. Okay, so if I use that, that will get me to the Bitter Black Isle beginning area. There we go. Wee! I can't jump very high either. Okay. Ah oh, no, how do you? Yeah. Okay. The truth remains that if I am to save ah, this is where you can pu purify. Oh, that's it. Those um, cursed items you can purify here. But I just want to manage stored items. So I've got a ton of stuff that I 
just don't need. So curatives, I'll come back to that in a moment. Throw, bl oh, they're like grenades essentially. Hmm. Uh, okay, and then we've got, ah, uh, here we go. So dragon scale, yeah. So all of this stuff, and you've got tons of spec. Look at that, seven thousand. So dragon horn, rabbit pelt. This luminase is pretty heavy for a plant. You know? Yeah. Okay, sinister hide. A scrap of garm pelt. So that's kind of rare. You might need that for some kind of upgrade. Um, so I'm going to pop that in. And this one. I think this buffs. Allows for quicker incanting of spells. So rather than turn that mission item in. I've been keeping it to um, just buff up my damage really oh not damage just speed up the spell casting yeah skeleton key oh yeah there's certain parts where you need it uh, wake stone shard I don't really need uh, right so I'm going to deal with these in a minute so uh, this is ancient robe. That's not very heavy, so I'm gonna keep that. But it's kind of cool. I think I've only just picked up this new item, sovereign's mantle. See, each of these give you certain buffs. And I'm not wearing anything on the hand. All right, what else am I carrying? Throw blasts are heavy. Oil, let's put one away. Oh yeah, light pickaxe, that's good. That's from for a, there's this pigeon like thing I can't remember the names of the creatures but that can freeze you so that's one way out of it that's for blindness I don't know what that is but Debilitations, I guess. And this is for when you lose your stamina. You can quickly, you know, regain it. And this one's to stop poison. Mithridate. Okay. There is aught you can do. Let's just, oh right, you need loads of rift crystals. Well, I've got loads, I think. Uh, might as well just do it. Uh, the purification will be 22,000 rift crystals, so yep. Yeah, some of these are like I've got one already. Yeah, that one looks stupid. It just looks like you're wearing a, a unicorn's horn. That's good with uh, a pawn. I did have a pawn. Sovereign's mantle. Oh, okay, so I'm kind of 
well confused because one I haven't played it in a long time and two because this is an older save file compared to where I finished because I did get to level 200 and uh, now I'm level 166 I need if there is aught I can do say it the truth remains that if I am to save him I need pray take care and uh, sometimes you find the ah if you touch that then you're that's it my poor my pawn was kind of getting in the way when I was farming that cursed dragon my pawn is uh, you know helping me out but kind of not really helping me out that much so yeah <laughs> I kind of got rid of him I don't know if it's worth getting any of this. Ah. Oh, that's it. That's how you did that. Okay. Okay, okay, good. Well, I'll just fart. grab a load of this. See how heavy this is. Ah, yes, you could give stuff to your pool, and now I remember. The thing is, if your pawn died, then it wouldn't, like, it wouldn't go, uh, all the um, equipment wouldn't uh, end up. Ah. So I kind of opened this up. Sort of coming back to me. You can kill all these rats off. <laughs> so I need the XP. So have I not done this bit? He should be. He's sometimes down here. Yeah, that's the thing. When you play regularly, some of it just becomes like really instinctive. Uh, the controls, I mean. But, yeah. Right, now, instead of just wandering around, which is, I think, how I ended up getting the uh, 300 hours all right so let me just if I go back to the title screen then I can drop down some of the uh, You can only set the graphic settings there. And I can see frames are getting dropped. All right, so. If I go into options here, there's certain things you can do that you can't do when you're actually in the game. 
So if I drop this right down to oops, other way to there and yeah. Let's see if that. Um, and this is this is great when you're just playing, but if you're streaming, then the I'm making the card work twice as hard. And I. And I don't know which of these use up. Okay. Maybe I... Alright, let me keep it at 60. But uh, 1080p rather than 1440. Let's see if that... Did that just make it a lot smaller? Well, for me it's a lot smaller. For you, it's going to look much the same. Uh, Alright, just bear with me a second. I'm going to just rearrange things a little bit. Mm. Mm. Okay, cookie. Now I don't want to see a doubling. All right, no. Uh, on, one more, one more second. Yeah, what's that? That's not on top. Okay. Okay, right, here we go. Uh, yeah. Hello. Hello and thanks for watching. Ha. Huh. God, it's... It's hot here in London town. Mm, okay, so... Let's load up the game. We've dropped the uh, dropped the settings a lot, and I'm hoping now. Thing is, uh, actually, it's, it's still kind of playable. Oh, I know. We um. In other games, like sometimes X is the uh, action button. So if you want to open a box or open a door, you press X. Whereas in this one, you're pressing B. And X does that. Alright, I'm gonna see about getting another lift stone. I wonder if I should get my pawn back. It's kind of kind of find the dialogue amusing sometimes. No, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I think there was another attack. Magic rebalancer is not what I wanted. Right, let me get my pawn back. There he is. Okay, so no frames. <laughs> oh, 
when he picks... Oh, does he have loads of stuff? Just in case. Ah, see. <laughs> Alright, so... Okay, so here's Hercules, and uh, it's uh, not allowed me to use that name. Because, I don't know, is it French? Cool. Culo? It's whole? I know, it's Spanish, but yeah. Okay, that doesn't matter, but because he's a different character, he's a heavy knight character, his uh, carry capacity is much higher. And he's got blast arrows, which I can't use. And they're kind of heavy. So, yeah, this kind of stuff. Heavy. Sin oh, look, another. And then he just picks stuff up by himself as well. So that's... I think he's got extra weapons. Or maybe I just unequipped them. Depending on the situation, I might equip or unequip. If there is aught I can do, say it. Oh yeah, this there's this whole crafting thing you can do. But if there is aught I, can I can't remember that. Like to make throw blasts, you can. So I can go into the equipment menu now and I can equip or unequip. So at the moment he's just got this but he doesn't have the shield equipped and the reason is then he uses the sword skills more exclusively. And basically, he doesn't have a shield, so he can't use the uh, shield skills. So it gets basically a lot more aggressive. Anyway. Yeah, I'm doing it again. Okay, the, the, we've got these uh, special wolf type creatures in here. So I'm going to put a shadow sa shackle here. And then do a ricochet. Nope. There we go. He's picked it up. Right, let me do another. Because they can pretty much one-shot you. Okay. Alright, he's done it. I think there are four, as far as I remember. Okay, hopefully, um, uh, if there was any kind of lag or whatever before, it uh, isn't. Oh, there we go. Nope. Oh. That's all gone away. And yeah, those um those wolf type creatures 
demons parry apt. They're kind of buff, so I never really got into using those things. Mithridate is kind of heavy. Rift Crystal. And of course you need those to then purify any cursed items you get. Let's see what else has been dropped. Mottled leather. Well. Oh. So now you see he's picking stuff up, which is handy. They can just use him like a mule, or her, depending what kind of, which gender you choose to have as your pawn. I know there's, there's one area where you can't access unless it's uh, all female. A band of woman thieves. So it looks like there's nobody there. All this should now have respawned. Strange. Because I did uh, save quit. Oh, that's odd. Anyway, maybe they'll spawn. Right, there should be some snakes here. Another one there. <coughs> there are only three, so... That is that. It seems this place is host only to those with some tie to the worm. To the worm. Oh, that means... I'll take that. Well, you'd rather I'd rather you didn't because it's like All right. So nothing, no one, no goblins. Good, Rift Fragment. Now, the thing is, I don't have a Lift Stone. So sometimes you'll get one. Oh, that's it. It needs to go through some kind of a day-night cycle. And then you can... Alright, I'm getting the hang of the controls again now. <laughs> okay. Should be a chest here. And it will have novelty. I don't know if I'm going to bother actually. What's this? What's this? <laughs> it's just. You just pick stuff up. Right, well, I think I'm going to have a go at the rotunda. Kind of remember his name is Baroque. We'll see, he might be here. No, he's not here anymore. Well, he's got himself some oil. Alright, let's go to the rotunda. Rubbish. And then in this, uh, uh, what this dusk, dusk moon tower, that's what it's called. 
Dusk Moon Tower. And uh, there's various doors to different areas. Yeah, this King Warish. If you lose a bit of health, it could really bring your health back up fairly quickly. Scrag of Beast. I don't know what that was for. All right, there are going to be loads of spiders here. Spider. Big spiders. Balmy perfume. All right, and then we've got spiders, snakes. The snakes are annoying because they just come at you suddenly. Same with these. Ooh, what was that? Okay. There's another snake there. Oh. Right. Oh, another snake. Workers' gloves. So these these uh, items they give you certain buffs. Uh, but I think I've got like wooden wall. Pretty. I think that's the lot. Okay, so this is the rotunda. And I don't know what amount of day night cycle, whether it's just a day or a week. And then the money respawns and uh, so on. Okay, so if you look here, I've got Fiend Luring Incense. You don't have to do anything with it. You just have it in your inventory. Just have it with you. And... Uh, Yeah, I, c I could go even lighter, couldn't I? I could, like, the stuff I'm carrying, I suppose just weapons, but even my, what I'm wearing is ancient greaves, they're kind of heavy. And there's this sovereign's mantle, so I'm wearing shoulder cape. The mantle does things. Buffs things. This one boosts stamina. So stamina you need for your action skills. So if I do th something like Sun Flare or Magic Rebalancer. So if I do... Here we go. So it doesn't take... Did you see the orange go down a bit? So if you don't know the game... And, uh, you know, feel free to ask. <laughs> it's been a while, so I'm trying to remember. Okay, so there should be some beasties down here. What have we got? We've got... Hmm... There's an ogre. There's a couple of ogres and then... I think they're called... An eliminator, comes. eliminator, that's it. They're really fast. So what I tend to do... 
in oh god these are weak to fire Got these guys were here. Oh, and then the harpy's song. Beware the harpy's song, because it can put you to sleep. Well, the eliminator's there. So this is where. just about made it so the eliminator oh bloody hell so while he's being taken care of by my pawn I'll uh, do a Let's see if I can get a harpy. So the harpy is still... So the... Oh no. Oh, I've leveled up. <laughs> so I can do these things and then he should be able to... Uh, if he's still alive, that is. He may not still be alive. Oh god. I think that's me gone. <laughs> Does that mean the harpies? It's kind of difficult to see on a smaller screen. Yeah, the harpies are there. Ah, oh, so that does nothing. So the harpies are weak to fire. Maybe I should uh, buff up, yep. Buff up. And then I've got a ricochet ready. Get another one. Oh, there uh they're a bit tougher than the uh, other. All right, let's grab another one. I think you can do three, or maybe is it four? See, that did a lot more damage this time. Okay. Yeah. 
Whoa. There we go. So there's one more. See, so kind of gets in the way, this guy. So you're kind of putting a load of fire bombs. And try not to aggro any of the other ones because they're There we go. Okay. All right. So I don't really want to aggro any of the other ones because they're pretty difficult. Like you saw, like the Eliminator hits you once and you're you're dead, really. I mean, he he's. Yep. So, alright. I might try for this one. See, he's weak to ice. But that's only one. That's only one health point. And sometimes these ogres, they come up up the stairs over where I was standing before and they can f take a lot of damage just... Yeah, there. Look. They jump down. Look how much, look, they lost more than half their health. So it's kind of you can um, you can do it from here. Rather than, you know, trying to dodge them, which is possible. But that requires you to know um, attack patterns and things, which oh, I can't remember. There's like distances. Ah, see? So he just jumped the uh, Elder Ogre. I think it's Elder Ogre. I think it's female, the Elder Ogre. So she jumps off. And that means... Pretty much, they die. So I've got an aggro this one. See, I'm getting some damage. But if I buff up my damage now by doing this rebalancer, Hmm, well, I was expecting a bit more, but... See, they just fall off. And they try and get you here, and then they fall off, and then... Um, actually, I'll switch over to this one. No, nope, that didn't do it. Still got tons of health left. So we've barely taken down one... One health point out of... Whoa, 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 whoa.
So that's just one. So if I just hang out here for a bit. See? Jumps off. Look at that. <laughs> More than half the health is gone. Can't really see where it is. See, those single hits really do bugger all damage. So now it's chasing, it's coming back up here. I missed. Yeah, a little bit of damage, but... So let me buff up my damage output, but compared to Ogre falling off, this is hardly anything. All right. See if I can. That did something. It's gonna come up here. And then it falls off. And I level up. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I did uh, lots of kind of grinding. Now, the loot... Oops. Wrong one. All right, if I jump down... Oops. I lose a bit of health, but it's quick. The loot from these monsters disappears pretty quickly, so... It's probably gone by now. It's not like in Borderlands where, you know, enemies drop items and then, you know, you wander around the map a bit. Come back and it's still there. Not, it's not like that in this game. Oh, shit! I didn't realise there were any more. Leg it! <laughs> Go to the safe spot. <laughs> this isn't a safe spot for all enemies though. <laughs> for these ones, yeah, it works. But things like uh, Hellhounds, for example. Did they both come up here? Oh, I missed. Let's try Ricochet. Oh my god. There we go, it <laughs> fell off, and so half his health is gone. Oh my god. Well, there are two of them. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> no. 
And you don't get to keep any of your XP. <coughs> wow. Uh, okay, so this game works. Uh, 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 it's grabbed my mouse. So I can't move the window. Okay. Okay, let's try it again, shall we? It's kind of coming back to me. Uh but yeah, you don't you don't keep any of it. You have to kill all of them. I thought I had, but there were two more eliminators down there. Hey, Alby King. Hello, hello. Thanks for the follow. Hello. This is uh, this is not a game I normally play. I just uh, I play um, well on stream anyway. I play mainly. Um, hang on, let me do my magic rebalancer. On stream, I've been mainly playing um, Borderlands 2. And uh, not that I'm bored of it, just uh, I fancied playing something different just to change up the pace a little bit. And uh, this is one game I used to play a lot. And I've got good sort of three more than 300 hours really my steam says 338 hours oh no I've aggroed the eliminator, Stand firm. An eliminator comes. Uh oh let's see if I can go to a safe spot. <laughs> oh, bugger. So I've tried this twice. I'm just starting to remember the controls a bit. Okay, that's uh, two. Oh, shit. See if I can get back up here. Where's that? Oh, <laughs> I was, um, I did have a level two hundred character. So I did a lot of grinding to get up there, farming the Cursed Dragon. And then um, my save file got corrupted and I, I didn't have a backup. So this is... This is a... What is it? 166. Which is a pain, but at least, you know, I didn't have to completely start a new game. Oh, shit. Quick! Run away! <laughs> so, uh. Getting up to level 200, the only thing was that it meant like.
meant like you couldn't uh, go any further. So that was kind of annoying. So have you um, have you played this game a lot? There's a guy on YouTube called Nihil or Nahil, and he he would give loads of tips. So I kind of I'd follow him a lot. Oh my god. I don't normally come that far. <laughs> oh, not again. Quick, run away. Can I make it? <laughs> Ooh, that was close. All right, King Warish. Uh, uh, eh. Oh, is he? I think he's done. <laughs> I think he's done. That. I think he's done. Ah, oh, look at that. He lost about half his health. <laughs> ah, there we go. Leveled up. Nice. Oh, he leveled up as well. I thought he died. No. Oh, he's got something. I'll have to go down there to save him, but... If I go down there to save him, I think I'm going to be dead. This is an eliminator. Oh dear. Well, he lost twice his health. Um, I don't think I'm going to risk it. Let's try ricochet. Missed. <laughs> he fell off. Yes. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. can get in with the okay I guess if I don't go down there to uh... oh he didn't he didn't jump down come on Let's see if I can tempt him to the edge not that way the other way Gold. Oh, I've lost. Lost my pawn. Oh well. Yes! <laughs> he did. He did. Oh, my screen's quite far away from me. So your alibi king. He's still there? <laughs> okay, let's see. This is the third attempt at trying to kill this lot off. And there's two more eliminators down there. So a bit of magic rebalancer. I think there's another Elder Ogre. So, let's 
So, you. All right, here we go. Not bad, it's about half a bar of health. Hasn't really seen me. Oh, two bars of health gone. Looking around, where is this person? Fallen over. Does she take more damage fallen over? Oh no no, this one. Oh! Doesn't use up a massive amount of stamina either, so that's handy. But I'm gonna lose my buff in a minute. Okay, Eldro goes here. Just single shot just to kind of let her know that I'm over here. Hopefully she'll jump on the wall and then fall off. Come on! <laughs> Don't want to get too close though. So that's what I did last time. And she falls off. And I get a crap ton of XP. Lovely. Okay. Oh, hang on. Let me um, buff up magic. So one. This magic rebalancer really is kind of totally OP. I don't know if it's three or... I'll do four anyway. Okay. Let's see. Let's do... Uh, whoa, that's like two... Two health bars, like half his health gone. So this one should be gone. And I leveled up! This is, uh, one more. Lovely. Now, if you want the loot, you need to get down there pretty fast. Because it disappears and what happened last time was that I forgot about the other two eliminators that were still down there so we killed the um, killed the elder ogre and the, f the other eliminator uh, oh weapon level one thing is I don't really don't really want anything. All right, let's see what we get. Some rift. Rubbish. Wake stone, yes, we're going to need that for the story. Be nice to have. I don't think I've got a lift stone. Would be nice to have a lift stone. Nice. Is there another one there? Nope. King Warish. Uh, 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 another. Open the chest. Go on. King Warish. So we've been playing it pretty safe, basically. Basically, because I haven't played it for ages. Ages. I used to play it a lot. 
So it's kind of coming back to me. But another wake stone shard. don't think there's anything else okay so the way I'm doing this to get those extra tough enemies to spawn basically I've got um, this thing fiend luring incense and all you need to do is just have that and then you go into the rotunda and you'll get like oh I've got a new one thing is though my pawn is gone now I like to oops keep forgetting the button okay so all you need to do is come out of the rotunda and then as soon as you go back in um, there should be a new spawn and I might uh, take my lantern off it makes it dark but you get a bit more stealthy right so I'm gonna go back in and let's see rotunda of dread Let's see what we got this time. We got dragons. Sometimes you get like three dragons. What? Well, nothing. Huh? Okay. Let's try it again. Skid. Back to Duck Moon Tower. All right, let's try again. Let's try again. Anything? Nothing? Something? Nothing. All right. I think then. I'm going to have a go at Cursed Dragon. So, what the hell was that? Oh, snake. If I go back over to this side. And then put down the rancid bait meat ah missed oh so sweaty this controller's slipping out of my hand oh, hit the mouse mm, mm, mm. Okay, so my strat for doing the Cursed Dragon. If you haven't seen the Cursed Dragon before, uh, he or she or it will appear down there. And basically what I do is leg it over here somewhere. into the there's a little alcove there which I'll do in a second and if you can kill the dragon fast enough then you can get a second spawn and it's a it's a really good way or kind of easy way it's a bit grindy but you get loads of XP so you can level up quite quickly but then it's like, uh, kind of the f the fun is gone. Now, now where do you go? <laughs> uh, I'm playing this. I've got another character 
where I'm playing the pawn online so other people can use the pawn whereas with this one because I just wanted to kind of grind um, this is uh, offline uh, yeah so you can only have one character and what you have to do is copy the save file into a separate folder and then sort of do it. I, I think there's a plugin or there's a way to do it where you can have multiple steam accounts and so on but yeah I'm doing it like this okay so here we go so if you haven't seen this before this is this is kind of fun C cursed dragon Whoa. so I kind of hasn't seen me yet I leg it over here and then I make a bit of room <laughs> so if you want to get to level 200 uh, of course every time you level you need even more XP to kind of get to the next level Uh, this is a bit grindy, but it gets you there. So I'm going to switch to this one. Not the rusted staff. The And then, basically going to shoot him to... So he falls down here. And then just, he's weak to fire. You can see while he's down, I get one health bar. Then I run back in here. And while I'm buffed up with the magic rebalancer, I can maybe get two, two shots off. Oh, he's down again. He's down just long enough. Hit him with the comestion. Uh, but you gotta quickly get back in and hide as so he does his um, poison breath which can kill you so you don't have to do like a one of the skill arrows the thing is I'm gonna lose my buff now ah okay maybe one more so I don't know if the Comestian will be as powerful. Alright, so we got three out of, what, nine? See, so yeah, my buff is gone. So next to my health bar and my stamina bar, you saw that. The buff icon coming up, so that's gone now. But in order to do Magic Rebalancer, I need my daggers. So here are my scalding daggers, which are uh, gold forged. So you have to use that guy Barok to do the the rarefied, whatever. It's kind of coming back to me. Oh, no. And uh, yeah, because you're farming the dragon. By doing this, you can also um, dragon forge your items. So as long as you're wearing them, when you actually kill the dragon, so like you've got to be holding the item. Now, I tend to change back to the. This is my stronger staff. The rusted staff is a higher. Um, rarified, silver rarified, but silver forged, but the unfettered claw has higher magic, so I'm going with that. What was I saying? Oh yes, the, um, is he down there? I can't be, he's up there. So the heart, there we go. 
So the time I'm taking the the rancid bait meat is cooling down. So even though I it's possible to get like three spawns out of it. That's why I'm there we go. So you can finish this one off, get down there, take any loot, like dragon scale or whatever. Oh, he's doing the breath, he's doing the breath. Quick. I think when his health is about half done, he does the breath. And sometimes those blobs, that cursed breath. There he is. Okay, I could probably get him one more time. He's got four health bars left. Oh, nice, I got one and a bit. All right, I'm not gonna bother now. Well, maybe I should. Yeah, it's gone. So I've lost my buff. Not sure how long it lasts. Maybe like, or well, maybe you can keep track, <laughs> you can measure. So, all right, let's equip my scalding daggers. So we'll do one. Two, three, and four. I think four is the maximum. Okay, so it's 518 here. Uh, so keep an eye on when that disappears. All right, come on, you. So because I'm buffed up, even like a basic, basic magic arrow does a lot more damage than trying to do one of these, you know, um, ricochet or whatever. All you need to do is get him down because he's weak to fire. Oh, he's, a, he's down. There we go. Get him once in the heart. Down he goes. And you see, I'm not even bothering with high comestion. And that's it. So if you want to level up, so yeah, I've leveled up three now just in the last, whatever, 20 minutes. So it is going to be a bit of a grind. But this is like a fairly easy way to level your character if you do want to. Because then you're, you're, if your um, pawn will level up as well. And if you do want to do the whole pawn exchange and get your pawn online and get people to use your pawn... You know, it's much easier if your pawn is um, 200. Okay, so I'm now going to change to... There's my weapons. I'm going to now change to this one, the dove. Uh, yeah, militant dove. Why am I changing to this? If you don't know, I'm just going to jump down. And I'll lose a bit of... <laughs> see the blood splash. i lose a bit of health, but... Let's see how quickly it comes back. Now, there should be a good amount of... Let's see, lift by crystal, 2,000. Cursed Dragon Scale, which you might need for weapon upgrades and things. So, it's not just an XP farm, this. This is, you know, you're getting Dragon Forged, you're getting the, the, um, 
the equipment or the parts that you need to do that buffing up the uh, upgrades which you can only get from the dragon so in order to dragon forge you might be needing you know the dragon scale all right see there's still some left now all i need to do is go out come back in and should If I don't hang around too long, ah, I forgot to check when that rebalancer disappeared. Okay, and there we go. We've got another one, so there he is. That's the next one. So let's get him up in the air. Actually, let me change to back to the Master's Merle. Some of this equipment you can get from that Baroque guy who's, who's usually down here at the beginning. Okay. Just wanted to aggro him. Okay, uh, uh, uh. and then let's get my scalding daggers on. Oh, I did it too. If you do it too quickly, sometimes. Ah, oh, heaven's sick. Let's try again. There. It's just greyed out. It's just annoying. So you're trying to do it quickly because. You don't have much time. And then um, you get stuck like that. What's that? Three and four. All right, so let's go back to my uh, staff. Is this unfettered claw? Does higher magic output. Okay, let's bring him down again. There we go. Wander over here. Don't know, even have to run. And it's not even high combustion, it's just regular combustion. Because he's weak to fire, or she. Um, that's the way to do it. You know, like with, uh, say, a Cyclops, you use uh, lightning. They're weak to lightning, so you wouldn't really use fire on them. Well, you could, but it would just take longer. So you might use ricochet or levin. But you see how much damage that's doing. Plus, I've got the magic rebalancer buff. So I think it was 23, 523. Uh, so we're still going. Managed to get two knockdowns. See, it's not doing anything. Ah, there we go. We've got one more. So quickly, Comestion and. Yeah, it disappeared just as the Comestian hit him and he saw that it didn't quite do as much damage as when I'm fully buffed up with Magic Rebalancer. So we're looking at, what, a minute and a half? Something like that. So let's uh, buff myself up again. One. Two, three, four. You can do more than four, but it the it maxes out at four. Okay, the time on my computer is 
1726 here in London town. Um, so let's see. Let's see how long this lasts. So we need a knockdown. There we go. So yeah, as I've been saying, um, if you've got uh, Magic Archer, if you're playing Magic Archer, and you want to level up fairly quickly, I mean, this is this is one way of doing it. It's kind of grindy, but at the same time, it is also it's also a fun challenge because you come up like in different parts of Bit of Black Isle, you come across the Cursed Dragon. Oh, he's going to do his breath. I don't know if we can do one more. So it's 27. Oh, he's still down there. So the Comestian probably won't do as much damage as... Oh, actually it did. I'm still buffed up. So I managed to get three... Get three spells off. Actually, let's just wait till... It, yeah, it's just gone. So th two, maximum three, I guess. So yeah, let's let's uh, let's let's buff up the magic again. Okay. So that's one, two, three, and here is the fourth one. Okay, and uh, oh, let's get my staff ready. Starting to get familiar with the buttons again. As it has been months. Alright, we've got a knockdown. So he's not going to move. I'll say he. So he's not going to move for a little while. I'll wander back in here. Avoid the breath. Oh, there. Ooh, <laughs> it got quite close. The cursed breath. He hasn't brushed his teeth, has he? <laughs> no, this is what you get for not brushing your teeth. You get gangrene in your throat. Oh. Uh, right. Very nice. And did I level up? Yep. So basically, you do that, <laughs> if I do that another 30 times or so. Um, yeah, Oof. it's so hot here. I'm sitting on a towel just to soak up the sweat. <laughs> Probably didn't want to know that. Uh, wherever you are, but yeah, summertime. We're having a bit of a heat wave here in London town. And uh, I like it personally. It's just... Just the uh, controller keeps slipping out of my hand. And uh, yeah, a bit sweaty, but uh, no, I much prefer this to cold weather, or rain or cloud. Uh, look, I'm heavy. Uh... Okay, I'm I'm going to re-equip my militant dove. The militant dove you can get from that guy in Grand Soren, um, the one who does all the duplicates, and uh, he charges you. And I mean, he charges you so much for the duplicates, but he has the militant dove. 
and it's quite handy because you do as now there aren't any enemies around so if I jump down splat I lose a lot of health but look how fast I'm regening and you can can you see the the arrow it's kind of glowing away but you get a debuff as well for using it so I've regened and uh, oh, wrong button I can now put my uh, this one back on I don't know if this one's the highest you can get so uh, all right oh I didn't even check for loot that's <laughs> the point of jumping down uh, Perfect rift crystal. Look at that. 10k. Nice. Uh, thing with these scales, though, is that they're heavy. So I picked that up. I don't really need it because uh, I don't think I'm upgrading equipment. But I can get my pawn back. I uh, don't need that. I can get my pawn back by just going down one of these. So if you haven't been down here to Black Isle. I haven't even done the whole of it. I've done parts of it. There's a rift crisp, the a rift stone. Oh yeah, let's put my um, daggers back on so I can do my rolling thing. So now I can do this. Have that skill. Now there should be a rift crystal here. There we go. So I didn't have to go past any enemies. And what I want to do... You see I'm heavy already. Anything interesting in here? Rift cluster. All right, so there we go. He's back because I lost him in that Elder Ogre and Eliminator fight. And now I can go through and uh, give him some of the heavier stuff such as this cursed dragon scale give if you push the controller to the left then you can max it out and he's got bigger carry capacity than me so so all this really heavy stuff like alluvial or your or you know yeah that's not too heavy nether stone I mean yeah so now look at me I'm quite light Uh, if he dies or he, whatever happens to him, if he goes back to the rift, uh, it doesn't go into your cash or your bank or your kind of, that place where you can store your kind of long-term store place. So he's still carrying it. Uh, and you can't, if he's not spawned, then you can't take his gear and put it into the long-term storage. So you have to then respawn your, respawn your pawn and then put all the stuff there. 
if you want to, let me just uh, show you the gear. Uh, this is, yeah. I've picked up some other stuff. The wake stone's kind of heavy as well, which I don't really need at the moment. So my weapons you've seen already, scalding razors, and they've been they've been gold forged. Same with the master's merl uh, magic archer's bow and these weapons and when you're when you're fighting the the dragon the if you need to get them so that's the first level getting it gold for the dragon forged and then you can then further rarify it from barak i think it's barak his name is so there's silver and then there's gold. Now this one I'm not wearing anymore. Ah, because I picked up this one somewhere. Women's light armor. And I've got some gloves. I'm not sure where these came from. I think there's like an armor set that I got. <laughs> I think this <laughs> the silk lingerie might have been the very first ones that got dragon forged. So I was taking out a dragon um, somewhere else in the woods, found a spot where I could uh, work on a dragon. It took a bit longer than this one, and my weapons weren't quite as strong then. So, <laughs> and then. You kind of see, oh, such and such was dragon forged. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the uh, Dusk Moon Tower. Hello, glad you're still with me. Hope you're enjoying it. If there's if there's something you want to ask, then feel free. Uh, you know, I don't know everything about this game, but I have I've played a lot, and even though I haven't played it for a while. Oh, giant coin pouch. Well, we'll have that. 10k. Very nice. King Warish. All right, I think I'm going to try the Rotunda again. I guess two two spawns of Cursed Dragon were probably it. Oh, the bait meat you get from Barok as well. So yeah, look, the bait meat's gone now. And going out of this area and then coming back in will sometimes help uh, the enemies respawn so you can farm them. So we'll see what we get in here. If there's nothing in here, I think I might, I've still got some bait meat. So I might just farm the uh, Cursed Dragon again. Well, the snakes are back. Well, one snake. Oh, okay. Let's see what's in here. Oh, I forgot all about my lantern. Right then. My god. Okay, no more dropped frames since I. Uh... Ah, okay, what do we got? Gore Cyclops, there we go. It's quite handy. 
Oh, these are the cursed pawns, or whatever they're called. Finish off this. Okay. Blood stained periapt. Need that for something, I can't remember what. Oh. I'll have the coin pouch. Well, these guys can't come up here, but. Let me buff this up because there is another one up there. I thought there were three. Now the safe spot that I had before over there somewhere that isn't particularly safe anymore. But the Gore Cyclops can't really get up here. There's a way to kill them by jumping on their head, but... I haven't really tried that one, so... I think their clubs can reach this far. So I'm standing here thinking, oh well, yeah, I'm safe, but that yeah, pawn's had it already. We went down there to fight, and obviously I'm not going to go there, because I'll die immediately. So it is taking their health down, but... Kind of slow. And if they knock, I lose my charge for my bow. All right, I'm going to run back up here. So this could be a bit of a long fight, but should get deep. Right, I've Lost my buff now. Two. Three. And. Four. Okay. Okay, so let's see if I can get a few shots off before it's still only half the health if I can imagine if I can manage to uh, kill these gore cyclops quickly enough then I'll go down there and save him. My consciousness fades. Still got loads of stamina. I think I've got a ring that gives me stamina. Can't remember. Okay, and again, so playing it pretty safe. There are ways to do it by climbing on them, undoing the helmet and so on. I think one of them should be 
this one. Oh. Lost my charge. Ah, I've lost my buff now. Okay, magic rebalancer. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay. I don't know what's happened today. Because if you don't kill them all... I missed. And I missed. At least if there's only one. Oh shit. Oh, that's the wrong one. Damn it. Oh, look how much damage I've taken. Where is my healing? Why don't I just keep this on? Or, ah, it doesn't work if you're moving. You have to be standing still. So it doesn't look like they're hitting me, but... Yeah. Well, let me just get my health back. But then I need to change to the other weapon, the other bow. Because this one doesn't have as much damage as that one. So it's... It's not that... Um, well, they, they've gone a bit quiet now. All right, got my health back. Let's put Master's Mill back on. And of course, I lost my buff. I seem to have deaggroed now. And the health bar's gone. That's four. All right. So let's see if I can finish. Yes! Ah, there. And I leveled up. So that's all I was doing before, and I took damage, so... Just that swinging of the club, you know, it's probably enough. It's close enough. They're so huge. I'm going to be careful here, I don't fall off. Hang road, music's coming back on. Let's see if I can get one more. Ah, the ninefold. So normally you only get a sixfold. I've got a ninefold because I've got a ring. That buffs it. Ooh. Okay, I've lost my rebalance buff, but it's still. Well, I'm a 
let's do one. Actually, let's do two. And then it should be a one hit kill. Unless that. And I missed. Yes! Oh wow! Gosh, one kill was enough to level me up. Nice. Okay, so just in. Um, how long have I been playing? Two and a half hours. I think the first half hour I was just trying stuff out, getting to know the controls again, but. Look, I've gone up like six. six levels, six, five, six levels. So that's the way to do it, is to kind of, oh my god, look at that club. Now this is where I discover there's uh, something else. But if you want to pick up the loot, you've got to do it like really soon after the enemy dies or oh, it's just gone well, this sight ragged femur but they're heavy so this blue whatever whatever but I'm not gonna bother I'm gonna leave it so I think I'm gonna wipe my hands and then we'll go back out. Ah, uh, <laughs> wrong button. We'll go back out here. Back into Dusk Moon Tower. Spiders back. No. Snakes. One snake. That's weird. It's usually two. Right then, what should we do? Go back in there, try some more enemies, or go over there and do another uh, Cursed Dragon. Actually, here's an idea. Instead of the... So I'm wearing... What am I wearing? I'm wearing something that isn't... Oh no, I have something. So I've got this shoulder cape. So instead of that, if I put on this... So this gives me more strength, but the other one gives me an extra bit of stamina. Not much. But also debilitation resistance. This one a little bit better. But I think I took it off because um, you know I can't see my ass. <laughs> well my character's ass. So I'm getting some buffing, but without, and still being buff, if you like. <laughs> but what I could do is just have this, and um, see if we can dragon forge it. So now I've got this one on. And this one is dragon forged. There's a list where you see it, I think, when you go into the. Uh, so it doesn't look quite as cool. So yeah, let's let's uh, let's have a go at that. Oh, okay. <laughs> trip over the cloak <laughs> it's 
because you're always looking at your character from behind. You know what? You have to be wearing the item um, just as the dragon dies. So what I'll do, just for the sake of doing a bit of... I'll put the shoulder cape back on. Why did I pick that up? <laughs> now, what I want to do is to put down this bait. Do 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 do. Which I cannot find now. There it is. Rancid bait meat. That's kind of heavy too. Should we do this? Let's do this. And nothing happened. Right. I think what you need to do is go out and come back in. It's a kind of switch it off and switch it back on again. Alright, so back in here and we should get Cursed Dragon. Who's that? Do I want to become famous? No, I don't want to become famous. <laughs> that uh, buy followers no I don't want to buy followers <laughs> that's funny okay so here we go this grind again so, uh, uh, unfettered claw, that's my most powerful one. I think I did gold forge it. Oh, of course he's already down. Oh, I missed him. Oh, now he's aggroed. Come on. Get over here. <laughs> yes, stupid dragon. Oh, that, that. There we go. There we go. That's more like it. Where is he? Oh, he's gone over there. He's breathing away. No, no, hey. I'm over here. I'm over here. Good. Good. <laughs> the fuck? They're kind of predictable, but... Yeah, sometimes they do stupid things. Come on, where are you? Oh. Ah, see? No, it's not working anymore. Lost my magic rebalancer buff, so let's get that back. It's still with me. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me. Okay, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to level up again, get past level 170. Okay, unfettered claw. I have to find Barak and... Uh, uh, Ask him how to do this. Right, unfettered claw. Hey! 
Mestian time. Burn, baby, burn! Weird how the dragon is weak to fire. There's loads of dragon. There's the frost, frost worm, and then there's the wyvern, and um, the what you call the regular worm. And then, like, later on, you've got things like Gore Chimera. So, never a dull moment. I think my buff's going to run out. Okay. One more before it runs out. Yes! All right, he's gonna do his breath. He's gonna do his breath. He's gonna do the evil breath. Let's get out of here. Ooh, look at that. Awful, awful. Right, so I need to do this again, don't I? Dee 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 dee. One. Two, three, four. All right, re equip the staff. And then let's see if we can get a knockdown. Yep. Down goes the dragon. There's a way to do it from... Ooh, it's, it's a bit lower down now. There's a way to do it, like, from the ground. Like, you get in there. Ah, oh, yeah, I remember it doing it with a different dragon you knock it down but then you kind of you get in there with the daggers go for the heart while it's knocked down and then uh, you know it doesn't move very much so you can um, get a bit more damage done there Yo! Do. Oh, and I forgot to put the thing on. Damn it. Okay. Next one then. <laughs> oh, I just like seeing my ass. It's still there, isn't it? Yeah, we can get another one. Got so caught up in killing the dragon. There's no guarantee that you'll get the um, dragon forging, though. Uh, especially when, like, you've got nothing dragon forged. That's um, all a bit random, really. All right, let's, uh, before I buff up, let's just aggro the dragon a bit. Okay, and then come in here. All this is respawned, and then buffing up. Okay, can you remind me? Excuse me. I think that's four. <laughs> OK, 
Can you remind me just before the dragon dies to put on the uh, that other outfit, the cloak or whatever it was? Just so we can do a bit of dragon forging. So if you get a shot off into that heart area. And the same with the Comestian. I mean, that's also where you're aiming for. Oh, nice. We should get three, three burns here. That's great. We've got pretty much half the health gone. Uh, can we get one more knockdown? No. It needs to be a little bit lower. Okay. I think the uh, buff's going to disappear. Well, it's definitely halfway. Pretty good. Just with one. Yeah. That was not bad. I normally get a maximum of three. So getting... Uh, oops. Getting four was pretty good. Two... Three and four. Okay. Pop the uh, staff back on. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is put this cloak on before I forget. Doesn't look as good. I think that's why I took it off. Okay, we've got a knockdown. Charge up Comestian. We've still got four health bars to get through. Oh, he's doing the dragon breath. Okay. Oh. Well. <laughs> I don't think I've been really affected by it. Okay, so he took a bit longer that time to come back up. So we need to get the knockdown. And while he's debilitated like this, and that we get a whole bar of health. There he goes. Hopefully get one more in. I think once or twice I uh, I fell down. Will I get one last one before the buff of the buff is gone? There we go, dragon forged. Ta-da! So my sovereign's mantle, that's how you do it. So if you go into my gear now, the sovereign's mantle that I was wearing, you can't zoom the uh, character, can you? I thought you could. Um, That is now Dragonforged. So as long as you're wearing it when you kill the dragon. And obviously I got everything else Dragonforged. So, you know, that was the only thing that could be Dragonforged. But there's still, there's still no guarantee. Because uh, I've killed dragons before. And uh, was wearing something that could be Dragonforged but wasn't. 
And then in the story, uh, the big dragon, uh, what's his name, Grigori, when you kill him, like he he just um, dragon forges everything because he's like special. Right now, I'm going to try. I'm going to try for. I'm, I'm going to leave all the. Uh, you see that's still there. I'm going to try for a third one. Okay, so I don't want to be wearing this, or do I? I don't know. No, I don't like it that much. That's why I took it off. Plus, the shoulder cape gives um, more stamina. Not that I need it. Ah, no third one. And now, whew, do we get any uh, loot? No, loot's all gone. So I was going for it. <coughs> I was going for XP, but yeah, loot's all gone now. Okay, let me put the dove on. Just to heal up a little bit. Yeah, you have to be standing still. For it to work. Which is why I've kept it. It's a bit like Moxie weapons in uh, Borderlands 2. Oh. A tight spot in my throat. <coughs> Mm. Wow. Been going for uh, th almost three hours without a break. Uh. We ah. thought I'd be able to do it in one. Ah, uh, yeah, Rotunda. Should I go for the Rotunda one more time? Or head out back into the... Back into the world, as it were. Should be a Cyclops or something here. Well, last time we did get a Garm, didn't we? Any gold here? Ah, yes. Lovely, lovely. Ah, there we go. Little bit of gold. Whee! Ah, okay, that hasn't respawned. I don't have a lift stone, so Oh, so we just got these guys. Let me do a shadow sa sh shadow sackle shackle in case they uh Nice. Another rebalance. Another shackle. Although there aren't that many of them, they're normally like loads more. So. I do. No. Ah, oh, here we come. Uh, 
Oh, it, well, it's all XP. It's fine. Oh, and there's Garm again! Very nice. Don't know where he is, but... This is the way to get Garm. And of course he's odd, so I'm going to run away. But he... He's aggroed, but he didn't follow me. So, um... Hmm... Oh god, he's doing his breath. Do another buffing up. It's weird, it's gone into the wall. Oh, completed a quest. Nice. Well, that was uh, unexpected. Great. Super smashing, smashing super great. <laughs> oh, right, is there any loot? There ought to be some loot. Oh, I guess those are the remains of Garm. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, here we go, here we go. Rift cluster. No, pick it up, pick it up, don't jump. Bestial eye. <laughs> I bet that's heavy. Yeah. The weight just went up. Okay, well that was kind of satisfying, getting a garm. Flask of oil, which I don't need because I'm not even using my lantern. Okay, so let's see here. Right, we got the snakes. If I can hit them. All right, shadow, shadow shackle, shadow shackle, and more of this. It's gonna get... Oh, they kind of jump through. I guess if they jump through one... Is that the lot? And, oh, only a fragment. All right, all right, all right. There's one more. They're fast. That's what... Uh, I think I've got three of them. There may be one more. So, let's see. Hmm. Let's do another one here. I don't think there are any more. Nope, I think that's it. Kiki. Ah, let me put my lantern on. Where is my lantern? There. Let's see what's happening now. 
I wanted to be a bit more stealthy in that rotunda. And then I forget to put it back on. Anything in here? There won't be a man-eater here. But further down, yes, you do get man-eaters. Which, yeah, <laughs> pretty much kill you. So. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so I didn't have a lift stone, so I had to just walk the whole way. Ring of Purpure. Well, I'll take it and sell it, I guess. I guess. Wee. Okay, back to the beginning of Bitter Black Isle. Go and see Ulra. Sell off some gear. But it would be good to find Barak, because then I can see what I need to uh blah, 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 to rarify those other items. Why well, you're supposed to be here to do this kind of thing? Let's see. What? Threaded cudgel. Effective only in experienced hands. Uh, okay. Probably not for a magic archer. Threaded cudgel. The truth remains that if I am to save him, if there is aught I can do, say it. Say it. Hmm. Oh yeah, and to get more bait, rancid bait meat, I have to find him as well. So And he doesn't always have it either. He might have like two or three. So I've got some new things. I've got a blood-stained periapt. So same, you might need it for a mission, or you might need it to upgrade something. And the bestial eye, a rarity. Yes. Rabbit pelt. Uh, uh. Mm -mm. What's this new thing? Ooh. Immortal Sabatons. Oh, they are not for Magic Archer, are they? Mystic Knight can use it. And what else? Warrior. But Magic Archer can cannot use it so I guess I'll mm, I could give it to my pawn so this is the one that got upgraded and of course yeah look defenses go up yeah 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 Mm -mm -mm. And I picked up something. Cleansing earring. Why do I have three of those? <laughs> or four of those even. Barbed nails. Yeah, they give you um, increased knockdown. So that is pretty cool.
So it's good getting to know some of this gear and how it works with different I know, character types. And just trying them out. I mean, um, you might watch someone play and then see them using a certain item in a certain way and then you try it and you find like, hmm, it's kind of nice, but I don't really like it. Uh, the ricochet, I, I, when I saw someone doing the ricochet hunter with the magic archer, I just thought, yeah, I've got, I've got to try magic archer. And I just really fell in love with magic archer. But I have also done strider. I mean, it's kind of basic. But you've got the skull cracker and then you've got that other skill where you kind of do a dash and you kind of do a double dagger as you take a really fast dash. I really like that skill. And of course Magic Archer can have daggers and uh, the rolling movement and um, Assassin can do that as well then Assassin can also do um, Sword and Shield. So it's, you know, it's worth trying all of them. And as for this min-maxing stuff, some people really swear by it and say, like, you've got to do it, you know, start your character off in with this class, and then once you get to Grand Sauron, then you change to that class, but... I don't know. This this one I think was pretty much Magic Archer all the way. And then there was something I did about yeah, you start in normal. If there is aught I can do, say it. Ah, ah uh, yes. Look at all the stuff I've got stashed away, which I'll probably never use. Oh yeah, at the beginning you get the uh the, the <laughs> I was wearing this a lot, but this uh, berserkin. I don't know where I found it. Ah, uh, that's how you do the close up. Yeah, it's like little armor plates. And it's got like these cool purple sleeves. The gloves give better grip or something, I can't remember. What's the new jewellery I've got? Uh huh. Staff bearer's ring. So you get these random things. If there is aught I can do, the truth will pray. Take care. So what is that thing I got? Uh, oh, hang on. Equipment. There's a ring that I'm wearing. This one, the master's ring. Is it that one? Ah, that's it. Magic Archer Ring. Magic Bowman's Band. So, threefold bolt, sixfold bolt gets buffed up. And, explosive rivet. So, uh, yeah, so you could say, alright, I should be wearing Baleful Nails, but the Master's Ring... What's the stats on that? Yeah, boost stamina by... So you get like random drops when, uh, when you get those uh, cursed items. So I think I got it there. Alright, let's, um, let's head back to... Let me... 
would take you there now if that is what you desire. Yeah, let's go back to Cassidus. Let's get some sunshine. Let's get out of the moonlight. Oh, there's still moonlight here. Hey there, Ulra. Hello. <laughs> and of course, if you fall in the sea, you die. Yes, and I changed to either I played just archer or mage. Maybe I played mage. Oh, he's the thief, isn't he? Yeah, I played mage. And then changed to... Yeah, because you can't have magic archer at the beginning. Because it's a hybrid skill, which is only available after level 10. So I think I just played regular archer and then when I got two grand when you first get to Grand Sauron and you can change and I changed to magic archer and I can't remember where I am in the story the sky looks normal so I guess should we some goblins up here, right? Oh yeah, here we go. There's some goblins. Then I changed to hard mode. And of course then you get more XP. God. There's the wolf. Rawr. I don't know where I am. Oh yeah, here. What's my mission then? Ferry back the ring, the Worm King's ring. No, but I'm keeping the Worm King's ring. <laughs> I'm going to be sneaky and keep the Worm King's ring. You see? I'm a bit naughty like that. Wee, 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 wee. The encampment. Oh, yeah, this is the very first place you dic discover. Hello. Cicero. I fear we cannot yet join a covenant. Oh, yes. Saburn. We can safeguard your belongings or aid in learning new skills. Have your pick in your life. Hmm. What will it be today? Ah, yes. Is it? Biting wind or something. Daggers. Oh, it's it that one? I can't remember. Gosh. Uh. 
Ah, uh, yeah, I'm kind of set up purely. I don't know what I was doing. I'm sure I had some kind of goals I was working on. Like getting a certain amount of XP to do something or other. Six-fold bolt. Explosive bolt. Ah, there's a, there's a way to do this as well. The way you arrange them. Anyway, it's been fun, but I think I think that's about it from me today. So, uh, Alibi King, if you're still there, if you're still watching, thanks for the follow and thanks for watching. And I can see someone is watching or was still connected but not watching. So, if you have been watching all this time, which has been just over three hours, um, yeah, much appreciated. Thanks for your support and um, catch you next time when I may be playing more of this, but probably back to Borderlands 2. Although I also want to do a series on Far Cry 3 at some point because I've just got the game. I got it cheap on Steam, so heard so many good things about it and just started playing it. So, yeah, that's something I'd like to try as well. But for now, bye bye. See y'all. <laughs> that's what the alt key does then. I see. All right.